Hi everyone, welcome to another haul video. We are Faye and Simon, we're FNS resellers over here on YouTube and also on Instagram. We're a full-time reselling couple. We like to source from charity shops more than most at the moment. We also dabble in auctions and occasionally car boot sales. Do you know what's funny about saying that we source from car boot sales? What? We live less than three minutes away from a car boot sale and we've never been. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly two years we've lived here and it's just too early, like a six o'clock start. Sunday morning, yeah. it's not for us. No, and it's, it's so close. We're about to show you a number of items that we picked up um, in one afternoon um, it's actually sort of three trips. So um, on Thursday morning, I popped out to meet my mum and sister and niece and had a few errands to run. And there's actually three charity shops in that town. So I popped in all three, but literally didn't browse hard. I just grabbed a couple of bits. And then on the way home, there's an, I could take a different route if I wanted to. And I thought, I'm gonna go that way. And if there's a space outside the charity shop in the town, I will pull in there because it was meant to be and there was a space so I got a couple of bits in there as well and then uh, when I got home I persuaded you to come out again for just over an hour to another town which is sort of 10 minutes away and there's four charity shops there one two yeah four charity shops um, and the rest we got there so it's like pretty much an hour and a half of sourcing max isn't it mm. um, so yeah, this is what we got. I haven't done a lot of research on these items. I'll tell you what I know. Um, but uh, I picked up a lot of glassware. So the first one is this glass bowl. It's violet and I haven't picked up violet glass before. Um, I thought it was really pretty. Um, it hasn't got a signature or anything, but I may well photograph this um, onto a white background, including the base as well, and put them, I put the pictures and sort of ask for help on one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of. Um, they're really, really helpful on there as long as you abide by the rules, which means taking proper photos on white backgrounds. Um, so we use Photo Room for that anyway. Um, but some really, really knowledgeable people on there who can just straight away tell you where something's from or where it's not from, what the shape's called or the style. Um, so yeah, this one was pound fifty. Another one I picked up, we've had something like this before, it's turquoise glass and this cost pound fifty as well in the sale. Um, again, no maker's mark or anything, so I may well, I probably won't actually put this on the Facebook groups. Um, a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm part of, the glass um, pages have files where there's lots of pictures, where they've saved information on um, posts that people have previously asked for help on. So I, I think this is probably in one of those. So I will find out about that as well. Another glass item is this bowl and it's like a pale blue sort of, it's not lilac, but it's, it's would you say it's blue? I yeah. mean, I don't often take your opinion uh, on colour. Yeah, yeah, it's blue. Um, but it's a bowl and this one costs £2.50. And I will take a picture of this with Google Lens, um, probably down, um, so I can see it from that view, uh, to see if I can find the pattern name, um, because it can be quite helpful for that. Yeah, the pattern's quite prominent, distinctive, yeah. isn't it? Next up are these little glasses. Now, these are whiskey, what did I call them, snifter? Sniff Something like that. Snifter glasses. It's not sniffer, it's snifter. And there were six in a pack. They were, I think, oh yeah, four pounds for six glasses, all brand new with tissue paper around them. And I think each individual one can go for about 10 pounds. These were all from the same shop, a shop where the lady in there knows us. It's really nice, she makes us feel really welcome, doesn't she? Yeah, um, I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, and the time before we went in, she said, oh, these guys, they, they're gonna buy loads. Uh, so we didn't let her down. Yeah. <laughs> um, Next up is this trinket bowl. It's the sort of thing I would use to put my earrings in. Um, I've got something modern, uh, very similar in shape and size. Um, but this one is Karamos, Karamos, made in Austria. There you go. And I looked it up in the shop, um, the brand, and I could find lots of figures um, of animals, but they go for really good money, but I couldn't find any trinket dishes. 
Now I'm not sure if this has been damaged and repaired or if it's like if it, the top's come off completely or if it's just wear and tear from the paint. It was two pounds, so we'll see. I'll do some more research and see what it says. Some more breakables, I picked these up <clears throat> in the shop that I was in on my own, the one where I was, I was only going to stop if there was a parking space um, because I can spot them a mile off now after Simon's sort of showing me his collection that he's picked up before. So they're um, hum Gobel Hummel figures. This one's a Goose Girl and this one is Schoolboy. And one of them is worth a lot more than the other. Yeah, so the the, the mark there, that's the um, Gobel trademark, and that is a TMK3, I believe, which is 1960s, I think, if I remember. Now, this one's not worth too much. Faye's, Faye paid $4.99. Um, honestly, will be pushing for £15, I think, on this one. There's quite a few of them around, even though it's old. I think there's a few about. And Goose Girl, this one, the trademark logo here is TMK5, which is called, known as, I think, the last B, because it's the last logo to have the little B just at the end of my finger there. What, Bumblebee? Yeah, sorry, Bumblebee, yeah. It's, it doesn't look like a B, it's in the V. Um, and that is 1972 to 1979. And this one um, is definitely worth more. Some have sold more than others as, as usual on eBay, but um, 35 pounds is quite, I think, realistic on that one. Um, but we'll, we'll go high, we'll start higher and, and bring it down. But I think that's around where it will sell, 30 to 35. They were both in the cabinet. Um, I didn't actually look them up in the shop. Um, I didn't really have time, but um, I thought, oh, we'll get our money back at least on them. <laughs> Um, this little guy, Wallace, it's a corkscrew and this guy was £4 and these are really popular. They sell on eBay for about 20 It's in the Father's Day sort of display. Uh, yes. And then <laughs> I picked this up because I don't actually know what it is. Uh, I thought it was a bit interesting. I, I expected it to be West German um, on the base, but it doesn't actually say anything. That random mark. I know it's hard to say. It looks like a number five, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, with a number seven there, look. But I think we're just maybe like making shapes out of clouds here. Yeah, I think I think we probably are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is it? Is it? It's not a candle. There's a spider living in there. Oh shit. But it's, the spider's dead actually. Does anyone uh, know what it is? Do, would you? Are you familiar with the? Um, sort of finished, the design. I will look it up on Google Lens, um, but it was five pounds and I just thought it looked a bit different. <laughs> I don't know how I came across these the other day, but I was looking on eBay for something and I came across these um, sort of vintage style egg holders for work tops and they sell well, they're really popular. Um, so I saw this, I saw it was £3, picked it up. It has got a slight chip inside, but you don't need to look on the inside, do you, when your eggs are in there? Um, has it got a signature on the bottom? No, it's just probably a generic make. Needs a bit of a clean up. Um, but I was really chuffed with that, especially as when we went outsourcing yesterday. New video for that coming soon. Um, there was one in the shop for £22. Mm. So I was really pleased I got this one for 3 And was it? Just a couple of days ago, you, you said, oh, yeah. keep your eye out for these. And yeah. then the, literally the next day, yeah. picked one up for three quid. Yeah, because I said to you, didn't I? And you mm. were like, what, like a basket basket? I said, no, like a, it looks like it's sitting on a basket. Yeah. Ah, now this one, I'd already paid. There was a problem with the card machine, so it was declining and taking ages because it was just weak signal. Um, so I was looking this up while I was waiting and it's a very old, Poker chip set. Let's unscrew the top. <laughs> <laughs> There's like red, green, yellow, blue, all in there. Yeah, it's quite cool, isn't it? It is quite cool. Um, vintage poker chip sets do sell well um, on my brief bit of research in the shop, but I couldn't find one that looked exactly the same as this. 
Um, I think this is older. And it was two pounds. So I'll do some more research on that one. Um, oh, you pick these up. Yeah, I picked these up. There, uh, there's four of them. Cheers. Yeah, cheers everybody. Uh, so they're Lepe glasses, which is a Belgian beer, I believe I'm right in saying. Oh, Paul just subscribed to our YouTube channel. Oh, hi Paul. Hi Paul. I paid four pounds for a set of four, and I was having a quick look at these, and people are selling these for like six pound plus postage each sometimes more so um yeah i thought for a set of four i think 25 30 pounds finally this last breakable we've got lots more to show you but this is the breakables done um is this wit i think it's wittards yeah tea clipper by wittard of chelsea now i never picked wittards up um i just thought they were just everywhere but was it kev the reseller mm. that i was talking to on instagram the other day who had some quite good sales from uh, wittard's mugs and mugs are so easy to sell they're so easy to photograph and list um and he said he's done really well with wittard's mugs so i picked this one up mm. um that's all there is to say about it other than it was a pound Pretty good for a pound good for a pound as an experiment it's the sort of mug i use it's like a nice big one yeah no i think that's a bit small for you few toys, games and DVDs before Faye shows you a few more bits. I picked this up, uh, I think we were waiting to pay somewhere and... Mm. It's while the guy was trying to wrap my mug with the smallest bit of oh, yeah. wrap. Say no more about that. No. Um, so it's a vintage Fisher Price uh, school bus. I can't remember if it was a year on it. Uh, it's made in Mexico mm. and it's ultimately it's an American school bus. Um, I think from 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 doing the research and a lot of them sell from America I think if I remember right yeah, from doing the research. I wonder if they make actual American school buses in Mexico. Uh, and it comes with seven figures, one's a dog so I saw listings where it said with seven I think they call them like like chunkies or something because they're like chunky as opposed to like clickies which are playmobile aren't they mm. um so anyway i saw listings for like this with seven chunkies or whatever they're called i might have been chubby i don't know um and i think i think i can get around 30 pounds i think and i paid 2.95 it's interesting it must be old because i don't think you can take dogs on school buses these days <laughs> yeah and then a few dvds as usual oh yeah i picked this one up and um, well parking space one this was 2.99 it's brand new and sealed it's three movie collection disney descendants descendants 2 and descendants 3. did you know it? it's ranked number 132 on amazon that is yeah, good yeah um 11.99 but none in fba greta garbo uh mysterious lady paid 1.99 brand new and sealed i thought you can say mysterious girl <laughs> That's Peter Andre. Yeah. 80 pounds and 15p new, none in FBA, 25 used. Yeah, it's a funny one because there's no rank, which means it was either part of a um, variation listing with like Blu ray or collector's editions and stuff. So the, it could be a bit of a red herring, that one. Well, it most likely is. Um, there could be other, a different DVD version. So that one's like whatever year it is, well it's from 1920 to 2005 the DVD was produced but it could be like a 2006 one on the same buying page, you won't really know until the scanning look and that could be like 6 99 so oh, I picked it up not expecting to get 80 quid for it, I picked it up because the, the feedbacks were so good I thought we'd make some money on it, Yeah, um, yeah not yeah. 80 quid yeah. But if we do, then bonus and we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll list it at whatever the prize is and then it'll start to come down. Um, this one's a bit of a shame, this one. So it's £12. It's the um, Emmerdale... It's Coronation you know, Street. Cor Coronation <laughs> Street. Don't watch either of them. Um, Golden Anniversary Collection. Um, it is brand new sealed, except it's not because of this. Um, so it's like they use like new, new, other, whatever. We've sold it is, before, haven't we? Yeah, we have sold it before brand new, which is a shame because if it's brand new, it's 51.25 with none in FBA and used is, there's one FBA from 69.99 and the lowest price used is £41. So it's about 40 quid, which will leave us with about £19 profit. 
nice. It was in the window, wasn't it? Um, I was looking at the window. The amount of times we go in a charity shop and Simon's like, ooh, like they, we walk in and they say hi, and then you're like, ooh, I've just seen your window display. Yeah. Be right back. And then you're out. Straight back out again. I really do think charity shop window displays get missed because you do sort of think, do they put their good stuff in the window or do they put their bad stuff in the window? Because obviously you want people in, but then you want people buying stuff because I, I really don't think many people shop the windows. So no, uh, I think a let, lot... us, let us know, do you always look in the window of charity shops if there's a display or are you just diving in straight to the rails and, and racks? I think a lot of charity shops have like the mannequins in the um, window with outfits on and I think they're missing a beat if they don't make it clear um, if you're looking through the window what the brand is, what yeah. the size is, what the, what price, the price is because yeah. a lot of people won't want to say can I have a look at that please mm. on the mannequin but also men necessarily aren't going to be interested in a dress maybe they are but i think a lot of windows need to be really appealing to everyone so kids with toys mm. resellers men women old people it just they need to just do a better job of it it's a good thing about having long arms is i'm always like in the front of the shop like reaching into the window display grabbing stuff to scan uh so this was hot fuzz and Shaun of the dead uh simon Pegg trilogy uh not trilogy, <laughs> two film box set. I paid a pound. Uh, it's not available new, it's only available used at 329 but not in FBA, so. Cool. So this out like 20 quid or whatever. Oh, classic. Put this on Instagram actually when I got it. Um, four pounds this was the ashes. Now I think the new price is a little bit lower than usual at the moment and it's seller fulfilled. I'm not sure how many there were in FBA when I scanned it. Um, but we'll sell that for sort of 15 to 20 pounds. New, uh, 12.99 at FBA. FBA. Yeah, but it used to be the case, as most people know, um, that there'd be like 150 available, different sellers trying to sell that DVD, new and used. Now it's usually sitting around 20 to 30. So if you get it new, don't list it at the, the lowest new price because it sells pretty much every day. Um, so just list it at you know twenty pounds or whatever in FBA and it will sell. Don't buy it for a joke. Buy it to sell. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't. Um, I picked this one up as well in a parking space shop, which is now that's what we're going to call it. Um, because we sold this loads of times. The first time we ever picked this up was on a garage sale trail last year, wasn't it? Mm. Um, it's, a, it's a dice game. Comes with. We haven't checked any of this stuff by the way. It comes with like the cups, different coloured dice. Uh, stop that and it's in a tin. This was in one of our haul videos only around three weeks ago and it sold straight away. I think we sold it for £18. That one uh, actually more expensive um, used. So new it's 17, uh, sorry, new it's £19.39, used it's £19.30, but there are none in FBA. But the rank is really good. It's 2,589 in toys and games with like over a thousand five star reviews. So. Oh, this surprised me. Faye picked this one up, it was five pounds, uh, and it's the Oxford Crossword Solver, so it's a little electrical, I saw you, you had it out, didn't you? No. Did you, were you not looking at it when I, no. I thought I saw you playing with it? Oh wow. Oh, right, so the bat, it's not been used, well, chances are it hasn't been used, so the batteries are still there, it's sealed, I wonder what year they're from. You do they hear? Yeah, often they do, yeah. Uh, oh, I never, did you know that? Yeah, so the Duracells always do can't see it on those um so yeah probably probably not used it doesn't it's got a screwdriver either uh, so we paid five pounds and um the list there's two listings new not in fba 115 pounds but there's so many um five star reviews on that product yeah over 1500 yeah so. It'll be interesting to see what, go, what these sort of things go for on eBay as well. But even the box is in great condition, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, really good. Uh, oh, I grabbed this. It's a hi -o -o -o. Hi. Do you want me to scan this or not? Uh, no, no, because it's out of stock on Amazon. So I paid 20. It's out of stock on Amazon. I think, I'm pretty sure it was. I looked it up on eBay, sell for about 70 uh, or 80 pre-owned. Um, so I will probably just send it into Amazon and cross-list it from there. Um, to eBay for a bit more. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Unchecked. What is it? It's a foam. I thought it was one of those um, large print big ones. Button. Yeah, no. big button. So yeah, hopefully that works. Fingers crossed, everyone. 
Genius Scrabble, uh, Toy Story 3. Paid £1.50 for this one. Don't think we've had this one before. No. Uh, to use. £15.99 used on Amazon. What's the new price out of interest? £117.69. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Of course I'll buy you the new, the new <laughs> Scrabble Toy Story 3 for a hundred and seventeen sixty nine. Yeah. whatever you want. If that's real, what you really want, Jimmy. If I grab this, it's a Canon scanner, £10. Tell your story. So, at the start of the year, um, I well, last year I had like something wrong with my feet. Is this um, confidential? No. Oh, it's an Evo price. Um, so yeah, I had something wrong with my feet. And it turned out that at the start of this year, I had to have part of my big toenail removed. I'm really sorry if you don't like feet. Um, it was very painful. Um, but the guy, was, the Stropolis guy, was really cool. And we had sort of like good chats with him, didn't we? Mm. And um, he had a load of boxes outside his clinic and you said, oh, do you mind, are you going to get rid of those boxes? Can we take the boxes? And he said, yeah, like knock yourself out. There's also a scanner out there that I don't want anymore. Um, so take it. So we were like, okay, cool. And we sold it for 40 pound. Which was, I thought we sold it for 50. Oh, maybe it was 50, but hang on a minute. Um, <laughs> it was really good because I had to pay 300 pounds to have part of my toenail removed. So it kind of helped. Like, yeah, so I gave it like a 15% discount. Yeah, so <laughs> it was not that exact model. It was one up or one down oh, okay. from that exact model, but it was a Canon, whatever that one is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, picked it up. So they've, they've taken the trouble to put in the recent solds. So on the 21st of the 4th, 26 pounds, 7th of the 4th, 13.50, and the 4th of the 4th, 9.50, is that so? Um, yeah, thing look, is, this, one, this is bids. Oh yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say, when we're looking at solds, we're never looking at auction solds, we're always looking at buy it now solds, um, and we're always looking at highest price usually, and we're also always looking at what is available. Um, mm -hmm. Those three, and condition obviously, but those three things are key when you're pricing, not so much like what it, what it sold for recently, um, because what it sold for recently is, is not what you're going to sell it for. Uh, we present the products a lot better than the listings on eBay, you know, so many of them are just bad. Rubbish. Um, so you know you want to look professional. You want to look like you're the uh, the sort of official outlet. There we go. So I don't know why I'm still holding that up, really. No, and it would have been pat tested as well. Yeah, so that's always handy to know that there's actually power going to it. They grabbed the puzzle, but I think it's for her. Although I guess that means we'll sell it afterwards. It's I love London, Mike Jupp. We saw loads of these yesterday as well when we were sourcing. That video will be coming Sunday. Um, or well, you might not be watching it on Thursday. This video will be going live on a Thursday. And the, It'll the, be the next haul video after this. sourcing trips after that. Yeah, um, so anyway, that was three pounds. That goes to 24.99 years, but the Mike Jack puzzles by um, the Gibsons ones that are really popular. They're blimmin' hard, um, but I've done a few now, but we've got a few sort of stocked up. There was one we saw somewhere else that we left behind because it was quite a lot of money. Three more things to show you. Uh, so I picked up... I think I said, did I say two or three new to me brands? Mm, and sure. you thought I meant for myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I picked up <laughs> I picked up these shoes, these wooden sort of um, flippy flop sandals. They are candies and it's, I think they're made in Mexico. Oh no, made in Brazil. But they're very popular on eBay.com. They cost five pounds and I reckon I can get 25 maybe a bit more for them i can't really remember um yeah but they're a size five because you know like wooden sliders and sandals and stuff are popular aren't you from uh dr shoal yeah you sell a lot of well, when you can get hold of them you sell a lot of those don't you? quickly yeah i do they fly i first saw this because it made me think of my niece i thought it was so cute and she's gonna um be going somewhere to do with ladybirds um later in the year but this is just such a cute dress and I never look at kids stuff but I know Robin and Rose does really well with kids clothes so I looked at this one and it's Rare Editions is the brand and it costs £1.50. It does need um, putting through the wash um, but I just thought it was a lovely little dress that I can probably get about £12 to £14 pounds for. Branching out into kids clothes eh? Yeah I know. Whatever next. This one is the Jack Wolfskin Fleece. And I picked this up because I sold a Jack Wolfskin fleece a couple of weeks ago and I am denied about picking that one up. It was red, it was size 16, it cost a couple of quid and I thought, oh, go on. Uh, this one was two pounds, I think it's a size 16. Yep, 
and it's purple. So I'll just go into our solds and relist the use the listing for um, the one that sold, but just change the photos and like the colour information and uh, just update it for this product. Um, but I'm hoping that will sell just as quickly, even though it's summer. Um, obviously, it's not warm everywhere, and people that are into like hiking and walking and camping need all that sort of stuff all year round. So yeah, not forgetting GSP of course. And GSP as well. Going anywhere in the world. So, what was your favourite pickup? I've been to it. Ah. <laughs> uh, my favourite pickup. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. I oh, yeah. I just love picking this up and selling it. I really do. And um, if you've watched our videos before, follow us on Instagram, you'll know that I have a bit of a sort of personal thing about people that slate this product because it's a great product to make money out of. So don't listen to it. Do your own research. Don't follow the crowd. Don't be a sheep. Yeah, don't. Um, so there you go for that one. It's mine. And what's yours? I thought you'd never asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite pickup is probably maybe the chicken thing mm. because it was only last week that I did a little bit of research on these accidentally and found one straight away. So mm. I'll go with this one. Good luck, everybody. I hope you liked our video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and pop on over to Instagram where you can find us over there as well. Um, feel free to say hi, have a chat. Um, we're always here to help and join in, join in in the community. It's a really fun community, isn't it? Yeah, we've really been loving to meet the reseller posts. Mm. Um, let's follow that hashtag and looking at them every day and following people that we don't follow already. There's a lot of people that follow us that we don't follow. When someone follows us, I always look at the profile. But if it's a blank profile or a private profile, if we're not following you on Instagram, but you do put out reseller content, then um, just message us and say, can you follow us? Because we will. It's just if you're, as I said, if your profile's private or you don't post, then we, we don't tend to follow Or if you haven't posted them. for a long time. Yeah, then we don't tend to follow those accounts. Check out the next sales video. It's going to be a good one. And the following haul video is going to be absolutely epic. So make sure you check that out too. Did I just raise my eyebrows? <laughs> That was a bit creepy. We'll see you soon in the next video. Yep, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.